Blocker! There we go. Blocker's very rare, boys. Oh la la. Oh well. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about skill trainers and how to actually choose which skill to give to each specific player. You saw there at Makalele. Huge shout out to Lucas as well for a tip on how to get it even cheaper. Let's get on with the video. All right, lads, so straight in, we're going to be getting our players. So you do need to have skill trainers for this, but we're going to be going straight away to standard player list. When we go to standard player list, we're going to be sorting this by price so that we're going to be getting players for free. These are essentially going to be zero GP players. Now, sometimes these players don't come up for you. It's different regions and also when you actually downloaded the game. But most people will know about Lombardi. Now, this guy has been bought, I'd say, probably the most bought player in the game, specifically to do the skill training method that we're going to show you. Now, as I said at the start of the video, there, it doesn't really matter what player that you use once it's zero GP. And also, this is going to save you about 30% as well, which is a tip from the Santa Panza El Presidente Lucas as well. So shout out to him, as I already mentioned. This saves you about 30% in GP. So all we're going to do, lads, very, very simply, is buy as many GP players as we want for free. They're going to cost us zero GP. We can release them and buy them as often as we want. Very, very simple. So for this one, I'm going using Rosa. So once we have this player here... Um, and he's spinning the ball on his finger for some reason. Once we have a couple of these players here, we're going to go back out and we're going to show you exactly what we do. So you will notice here that when we go back into players here, we're just going to sort these by Rosa uh, or get Rosa up here by sorting by the players that we just bought. Um, that's the easiest way of doing it. And I would say keep this kind of regular enough that you're getting rid of the players as soon as you get them and doing this method specifically to buy them. Don't let them clog up your squad. Now we're going to go into skill training and we're just going to spin. Now, obviously, the reason for doing this on a player and buying a player for zero GP as we just let this run, you're essentially using and burning skill trainers until you get one that you actually want, which is going to happen with us. So we actually get soul control here, but that's not the one we're looking for in this video. We're actually going to be looking for blocker for Makalele. So this is kind of how you cherry pick this. We've now got soul control and double touch. We'll revisit that in a second. But essentially what we want to do is we want to keep going until we get blocker. Now, you can also on these cards overwrite different uh, ones as well as you're seeing here. Do not choose a skill with a card that already has skills because it overrides, it takes your skill trainer and it won't give you any extra skill. So we do actually get blocker there. I said, As I said, there's a bit of luck in it and obviously that's going to come down to what skills you can actually get. We have been looking for blocker and we actually get it here, which is brilliant. And we're going to be adding that to Makalele. Now I'm going to show you the second tip in a second, but this is kind of a known one for a long time. You literally just go into skill training if you want to add a skill. But this is why not to add a skill, because when you add a skill to a player that already has skills, if you get a duplicate, duplicate skill, it will take away from it. Plus, you have an additional skill that is going to be probably wasted on this card. Like, I'm after getting Marseille turn with Makalele. It's after costing me a skill trainer that could have been anything. Um, and it's too big of a risk to take. Now, if you've got a lot of GP, this is not an issue. So, we're going to sort this player. And we're going to be adding the skill that we want to add. So, we're going to search it by added skill. And then we're going to be adding that to Makalele and doing legacy transfer. So, once we have this skill here, we know that the players that we have that have blocker are going to be here. And we can just add this very, very easily to Makalele. So, we're just going to search add the player, make sure and do the legacy transfer with the player that you want. So you pick Makalele, then you do legacy transfer, and then you finish that with the, with the weak player. Now we've got blocker with Makalele, which is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Um, as I already said, you can kind of rotate these and take the risk every now and again. But if you get a skill that the player already has, it's going to take your skill trainer and it's not going to give you an extra skill. Now, we luckily enough get super sub. I probably won't use this on Makalele, but it's not the worst that we could have got. Obviously, if we get one touch pass or man marking or interception or we rolled blocker again, it won't do anything. It'll just take our skill trainer. It's complete waste. Now, you can also double dip. So this is the tip that Lucas was saying about uh, in live stream a couple of weeks ago that I wanted to actually show people as well. And hopefully it helps you out with GP getting a little bit tighter now as they kind of like close it down a little if you have a card that has got one player skill, instead of legacy transferring him to the card that you want individually and doing two skills individually with two different legacy transfers, you can actually legacy transfer a free player like Lombardi into another free player, Lombardi, which we're going to do here and give a double dip. You're going to have double the skills. It's going to cost you about 25 to 30% less GP. You're going to get a discount of about 30%. 
So as we see here, when we are going to be changing a couple of these here, we have got dip and shot, which we want to give to Romario, and we also want to give him something else. We want to give him a different skill that we can actually use with him very, very nicely, whether it's going to be scissors faint or whether it's going to be penalty specialist or something that he doesn't have, essentially. That's kind of what we want. So we will just keep going and we'll decide, okay, we're going to give him this one, we're going to give him that one, whichever one that we want to give. You can also search by the one that we want. So we know what we want to give Romario. We want to give him flip-flop. These players have it flip-flop. So I've got soul control and double touch with him, but I've got soul control individually with this guy. So we're going to put Sandro Calejo. It's going to cost us 129 GP, 29,000 GP. Now we've given this Sandro Calejo the two skills that we actually want. When we go back to this card now, we have got the card with two skills instead of one. So we don't need to do two individual legacy transfers into a Mario. We can just do the one and it's going to cost us pretty much the same. It's going to save us that little bit of extra money that we have. Matt, Romario also has flip flap and double touch from the off. So we only need to add soul control to get ball roll to him or advanced double touch. And then also on top of that, we can add whatever skills we want. We've decided to add uh, dip and shot. So listen, it's a handy way of doing it. It does save you a bit of GP. It's still going to cost you GP. There's still a lot of luck involved but it does double up and quicken up the process. So now that we have got Sandro here, we're going to go in, he's got dip and shot and soul control, and it's going to cost us 317,000 to give him the two. So we are going to save a little bit between the transfer here and the legacy transfer between the two boys. So that is it, lads. That's it, short and sweet.